Hey guys, this is Nestor Nirome with Elegante Catering with another recipe for you guys. This time it's an hors d'oeuvre. It's a shrimp hors d'oeuvre on top of some guacamole. It's gonna be amazing. You guys are gonna wanna try this. Make sure you like, subscribe, and also follow and everything. But look, this is gonna be amazing and it's gonna be a delicious, delicious hors d'oeuvre. So for this one, we're gonna start with making some guacamole right so the easiest thing to do is just kind of like cut it in switch it around like that. just be careful with your hand and then just get it really quick twist and release <laughs> there you go see so that's very simple just be careful with your fingers and so this let's, let's see that again right uh, it's just very easily go in there twist around very gently Right, and then kind of twist it a little bit. This one has a bigger pit, and then just kind of hit it, twist, and release. It should release fairly simple if you if, if the avocado is ripe, right? If it's too green, then it'll it, it'll be too hard. It won't release, and if it releases just by itself, then it's too ripe. It's already kind of going bad. But we're gonna go ahead and cut these, and then we're gonna put them in here, and we're gonna do. A very simple guacamole for this part uh, you will need a fairly big spoon what you do is just kind of go in there just go on the sides and that basically brings out almost a whole thing all right so just go in there in the corner slide it around very simple and then basically takes almost everything out see just a little tiny bit that that was left over and very simple so just keep on going as much you know guacamole that you want uh, depending on what you know the type of hors d'oeuvres are big how much you want to put in there I like to put generously in my hors d'oeuvres uh, that's what my guests like or my clients I mean uh, their guests like <laughs> uh, but we're gonna go ahead and just do this all right so for this real simple guacamole what we're gonna do we're gonna add we're gonna be adding salt to taste okay so we're gonna want to be tasting it uh, and we're and we're gonna add that salt like that. I'm gonna add a little lime juice, just a little bit, not too much, into it. Maybe just half, depending on how how much guacamole you want. And then we're gonna add just you know just water in there. And the water and the salt will depend on you know how, the taste. Okay, and the water you know of course how how uh, blended you want it. Then you can use one of these handy uh, hand blenders. And these are the, the, the easiest things to do. Just, you know, mushes it up real good. And you can decide for your herbs uh, if you want to add, you know, onions and tomatoes and stuff. I like to make mine just with pure avocado. It just gives it a little bit, bit more avocado y taste. So let's go ahead and do this. You can see, it's very simple. This is where I would kind of taste it and add more salt if it needs to, okay? Uh, and like I said, if you see like, hey, you know what, I like it like that, then just leave it like that. If you want to add more salt, then great. But this is kind of where I would do it. But I'm just going to keep on doing it. So as you can see, nice and fluffy. Makes it nice and fluffy. Real good. And that's it, that's how quick it is. Okay, so for this recipe, mostly everything is to, to taste. It's not an exact science, that's a cool thing about this. Um, if you like a lot of garlic, you can put a lot of garlic. If you don't like garlic, don't you don't have to put garlic. Um, this is just to, oh, to taste, right? So I'm gonna kind of have like three garlic cloves right there, and I'm gonna mince them, chop them up real good. All right, so, uh, and so what we're gonna do is just gonna jump them up real good, mince them, right? And it, and it will all depend how how much you, you like your your garlic, right? You can also use those little machines that, you know, when you squeeze it, it comes out, right? <laughs> so we're gonna go like this, and then we're gonna see how, how fine you want it. That'll depend on how 
much you like garlic, right? Or your guests. So we're gonna go like this. There you go. That should be good enough for me. All right, I, I should, you know, I probably would do it a little smaller, but that's fine. All right, so you're gonna wanna add your butter to your pan. And again, it all will depend on how much you like butter or how little you like butter. You wanna put a little bit lower so you won't burn the butter, all right? And what you wanna do then after this, oops, it got stuck. <laughs> and you wanna add all the garlic. Just add all the garlic in there. There you go. And I stir into it. And the shrimp is gonna be done fairly fast, okay? And it'll only take about a minute or so to cook all the shrimp. Once it kind of starts to get a brownish tint to it, it's kind of ready to go. You want to add your shrimp. And like I said, this is going to take, it's going to be very fast. It's not going to take that long, maybe a couple of minutes. Um, it's the death all it, it, it will take. You're going to want to add to taste some pepper, right? Just to taste, not a lot. Kind of add a little bit of pepper, not too much. A little bit of chili powder. And I want to add a little bit of chili powder again, not to taste, not too much. And also salt, right? All right. And we're going to start mixing this up. If it starts kind of getting dry like it is right now, I want to add a little bit more butter. Right? Just mean I didn't add that much butter. So, uh oh. Okay, so we're back. All right, so once uh, the shrimp get a real nice color, it should be ready to go. What you want to do for these or there's it, you don't want to devein them because it'll get all you know, it'll open up and it'll look weird. Uh, this way and look real nice and that's basically it it just takes a couple of minutes and you're ready to go okay so I'm gonna cut a little bit of the cilantro but this is just actually just so it could have a little bit of like dashing color to it it's not necessarily gonna be uh, a big ingredient I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of cut it it's kind of fine and we're just gonna use it as a, as a, uh, a garnish, just a little garnish. Okay, so once you have everything, you have your shrimp ready, you got your crackers, and the crackers you can use, um, you can use plain old, you know, Ritz crackers, but to make them fancier, you can use these like crackers. You can have like sea salt in them, you have your lime, and your cilantro, and your guacamole. And these are very simple, right? Uh, of course, you wanna do with them all in a, and a, and a line, right? Make make all your crackers with a guacamole, then you know put them out there. So what we can, what you're gonna do is just kind of grab a little bit of guacamole in there, and then put it in, put it in the tray. And also the, the trick too to this is you're gonna want to put it in the actual tray, so when you're ready to serve them, you are good to go. You don't have to transfer them anywhere else. So you'll grab like this, put as many as you want, however you want them. And then you'll grab your shrimp, put it on top of your cracker, like a so, right? And once that's done, you wanna grab a little bit of this garnish and just kinda garnish the whole plate with it. And it'll look really nice, even if it's all over the plate. And then you grab a little bit of lemon, dash a lemon on each one, and your server or your guests are ready to start eating. All right, guys, as you can see, it was amazing, right? It was very simple to make um, just the cooking and everything, but these look amazing. And actually, if you can believe me, these actually taste better than what they actually look. So uh, make sure you guys comment 
Let me know what you guys think about the recipe, uh, if you tried it or not. And if you did try it, hey, I, I would urge you to please put in a picture on the comment section. I would love to see how fancy you guys got. All right. So see you guys later. Uh, please subscribe and like and follow us and hit that notification bell. All right, guys. Bye bye for now.